old medical practices that did more harm than good. For as long as human beings have been around, they have been getting ill, injuring themselves, and contracting diseases. Throughout history, going to the doctor was often more risky than just taking your chances with your illness. Corpse Medicine Peaking in popularity in the 16th and 17th centuries, doctors prescribed everything from blood to ground up skulls to their patients. Consuming fresh blood was thought to aid in general health and vitality. Mercury From the 16th all the way up to the 20th century, Mercury was welcomed as a healing drug and regularly prescribed by doctors and consumed by ill people. In this case, the cure really was worse than the disease. Radium Radium, another dangerous element, was commonly mixed with water sold as an over-the-counter, energy, drink in the early 20th century. Despite the fact that the adverse health effects of radium were already known as early as 1913, Roddy Thor remained a popular drink throughout the 1920s, until the federal government forced an end to its production in 1932. Antimony Robert James, an 18th-century English physician, invented and patented his famous, Dr. James's Fever Powder, in 1747. In the 18th century, doctors believed that purging was a sign that the body was ridding itself of toxins and restoring itself to a natural, healthy state. Trepanation For over 5,000 years, humans have attempted to cure head pain, skull trauma, and even neurological diseases by drilling holes in the patient's skull. A modern version of trepanation still exists in medicine, now called a craniotomy. It's only done to treat extreme conditions, such as a brain tumor, and the skull fragments are immediately replaced. Arsenic Fowler's solution was sold through the 20th century as a cure for conditions like psoriasis, asthma, and heartburn, and it was even used in the treatment of leukemia. Bloodletting As early as 3,000 years ago, ancient Egyptians pioneered the practice of bloodletting, using a lancet or leeches to open a patient's veins and draw out their blood. Bloodletting was believed to be a solution for any maladies caused by an excess amount of blood in the body, and the practice was used to treat illnesses as wide-ranging as migraines, seizures, sore throats, and even childbirth. Animal Magnetism Mesmer believed that illness was caused when a person's magnetic fluid was blocked or unbalanced. Following a scandal involving one of his blind patients in 1778, Mesmer's reputation was ruined, and animal magnetism fell out of fashion. However, mesmerism is also sometimes considered the precursor to a practice that we are all familiar with today, the art of hypnosis. The history of medicine is full of crazy, questionable, and sometimes downright dangerous practices. It makes one wonder, what will historians say about our modern medical practices a hundred years from now?